All right, so I wanted to make uh, one short video, especially on the topic of you know what to do if something goes wrong. Um, so first first thing that could go wrong is if you lose internet connection. Okay, so if you lose internet connectivity, here's what it's going to look like. So I'll go, I'll take a credit card. You know, the workflow is identical. We don't know anything about not having internet yet. Um, so I'll swipe a card. And it's starting to process. Now, normally at this point during the transaction, you hear some beeping from the terminal uh, telling you that it's basically gotten a response back from the credit card company. Uh, in this case, I've disabled the internet um, and it's attempting to connect. And it's going to continue to attempt to connect. We have the default uh, retry length to be about 60 seconds. So it's going to take quite a while before this thing comes back and uh, tells us we have a problem. But, but for good reason. A lot of times those retries can help us to actually get a successful communication in the case of very slow or problematic internet. So I'm just going to pause it for a moment. Okay, so here you can see on the terminal it says connect error. This means that it has no ability to connect to the internet. And then up on the screen you can see com error, similar error. Uh, this means that you don't have an internet connection. Now, if you don't have an internet connection, you're not going to be able to utilize the payment terminal to process a credit or a debit card. Um, and in such a case, you should have some type of backup strategy. Those backup strategies can include, um, you know, carbon copy papers. You know, that's old school, but it gets the job done. Uh, many of our customers will have a backup dial-up terminal, meaning it resides next to the point of sale station, or, you know, a lot of people will keep it, you know, under the countertop, hidden away because you use it so seldomly, um, but you can whip that out and use that in the case of emergency, and in which case a lot of people will have an offline tender type, offline credit card or something like that, so you can tender to it, which allows you to reconcile the money that's going into that terminal against RMS. So an internet connection issue is one example of a problem we can have. Another example of a problem we can have is if this terminal gets disconnected from your network. So this requires connectivity to your local area network. And I'm going to show you that in a second. But for right now, I'm just going to unplug this. And I, un I unplug the, the network cable and you can see it says check LAN cable. If you hear or see anything like that, um, uh, uh, when you're starting up the terminal, that means that your network itself is having problems. It might mean that the cable became loose or something to that effect. Um, and so I'll show you, you can see, I'm going to back this up a little bit. You can see right here we have the cable that comes out of the terminal. Well that all leads into, it all leads into um, this. Okay, you can see it says block, and this is where you have your power. So if the unit is off, okay, you can see the screen's off, that could be because the power's unplugged, and that needs to go in there, and it also needs to be plugged into the wall on the other side, obviously. Here's what the unit looks like when it's booting up. You can see it's going through and making sure it hasn't been tampered with. It does all these tests. Pretty cool. Um, and then in this port right here, uh, it says Ethernet. This is where your network should be connected. None of these other spots should have anything plugged in. The only exception to that is on occasion, one of these might be filled if you're using this terminal to do uh, near field communication payments, which are things like um, Apple Pay, for example, and that's an add-on, an option. Um, that's not standard. Um, so, and here you can see it's saying check LAN cable. Um, now, if, if, um, uh, and also the message up on the screen right now is relating to the fact that I can't find its contactless reader, 
which I had been testing with earlier. Um, so this is all stating that uh, it can't connect to the network right now. Now, if it can't connect to the network, you're going to have other problems too. For example, if I go to tender this transaction now, okay, right now the point of sale is attempting to communicate with the payment terminal. Um, and it's, it's going to sit here and eventually it's going to time out and give me an error message because it's not going to be able to find the payment terminal on the network. So we'll give it a second here. Connect error. This means that it's unable to find that payment terminal. And notice that it's squawking right now about not being able to connect to the LAN. It really only makes this much noise if it can't find the network on startup. Typically, it'll only do this once. If you lose your LAN connection in the middle of the day, you'll definitely get this error message, but it won't continuously do this. Um, but you will get this error where it says connect error. This means it can't find the terminal. At which point you should call tech support and, and we'll give you an end. I hope this is helpful.